Hi, my name's Abigail and I'm here to celebrate summer with the Varista Creations Ice Range. I'd love to share a few of my favourite recipes, perfect for a brunch moment in the sun this summer. These coffee capsules have been designed specifically to have as a cold recipe. So what I like to do is add the ice before brewing my capsule. This cools down the coffee really quickly, but it can tend to make the acidity slightly muted. Remember that a balance between acidity, bitterness and sweetness is what makes a really tasty recipe. Our experts have designed these capsules with this in mind, so they choose the origin and the roasting technique to allow those bright flavours to come out even when tasted cold. This is tropical coconut flavor over ice. We've added an aroma to give this coffee blend a beautiful tropical sense. I'm gonna make my recipe now, adding some ice to my glass. And we'll brew our coffee. So this smells Incredible. You can have it just like this, uh, just black, or I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut drink just to make it a little creamier and smoother. And look at those milk layers forming. My goodness, this is so good. Really coconutty and creamy and delicious. Next up, the Dalgona recipe. You may have seen this on your Instagram and TikTok feeds, but I'm gonna show you the Nespresso version and it is just so easy with your Nespresso Virtro and your barista device. First up, we'll brew our espresso. I'm using the Articio capsule to make a small espresso. Perfect, so using the barista device, we'll pop a spoonful of sugar and our espresso into the jug. Pop on the lid and we're going to use the Cafe Viennois recipe. So with our glass, we'll add some ice and we'll pour some cold milk over the top. And that's finished. And we just pour this on top and it's created this amazing froth, just like that. Wow, super creamy, sweet, delicious. I absolutely love this recipe. There is something about the cold froth from the Arecino that is so satisfying. So we'll just pour some cold milk in there. And we'll press and hold the arecino for three seconds until the blue light appears. And that will just froth it and not heat it. In the meantime, in our glass, we'll add some ice. And I find it so fun to zhuzh up your drink with a little bit of syrup. I'm gonna choose saffron syrup because I find it gives this really unique, like wild grass, earthy and muskiness to the drink that really combines well with the natural nuttiness of this coffee, the ice leggero. So just a spoonful in there over the top of the ice. So once the milk froth is done, we'll pour that over the top of our ice. I like to give it a little swirl just to homogenize the big bubbles. Oh my goodness, look at that. and we'll brew our coffee over the top of our frothed milk. And there we go, it's formed this really nice layered effect and that's because that cold milk is on the bottom, the coffee there and froth has risen to the top. So we'll give that a mix. And there's amazing earthiness from that saffron that just comes out. Wow, that muskiness from the saffron, the coffee, the milk combines perfectly. And that's my take on an espresso and ice macchiato with a touch of saffron. 
Nothing quite says summer like ice lollies and these coffee coconut ice lollies are no exception. I'm gonna brew my coffee. I'm using ice forte for that beautiful roasted taste. Add this to the bowl. And I have some canned coconut milk here. I'm gonna add half a cup. And I have brown sugar. I'm going to add two spoonfuls because I like it sweet, but you can add what you want. And then we'll whisk it up really nicely. So I'm using hot coffee straight from the machine so it's heated and it warms up and emulsifies the other ingredients. Now we have our molds. So this will make around four to six, depending on how big your molds are. Pour that in there. And we'll pop this in the freezer for about six to eight hours. And here are our ready ice lollies. Let's see what they look like. Beautiful. So the dark roasted coffee will combine perfectly with that coconut to give it this really creamy but also fresh ice lolly. Perfect for summer. For my next recipe, I'm going to make Nespresso coffee and tonic. Super easy, we'll just pop the ice in the glass and we'll add our tonic on top. So tonic water was actually once used as an anti-malarial because of its quinine content and that gives it a real bitterness that combines with coffee really nicely, I think. So we'll pop our cup underneath the machine and we'll brew our coffee. And look at those beautiful layers formed. I'm going to garnish this with a straw and some mint. What I like doing with my mint is actually clapping it. And this releases the oils from the mint and you're left with this amazing aroma you can smell from a mile away. And there you go, Nespresso coffee and tonic. So refreshing on a summer's day. Now I'll make my Nespresso brown sugar iced oat latte. I'm going to use the barista device and pour my oat drink into there until the max line and pop the lid on. And I'll use the espresso on ice macchiato function. While the barista device is frothing, I'll add my brown sugar to the glass and pour my coffee on top. I've used the hot coffee over the sugar so it completely dissolves. I'll give that a little stir. And now I'll add my ice cubes. And pour this frothed oat drink over the top. It has formed this really luxurious and creamy froth. Wow. Look at this recipe. This is the brown sugar iced oat latte and it's vegan too. So that brown sugar is combining beautifully with the oat drink and the coffee. This is a gorgeous recipe. Thank you for watching the Nespresso Summer Iced Coffee Masterclass. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you make any of these recipes at home, don't forget to tag Nespresso and use the hashtag summerwithnespresso.